tourists of previous years. A Tucson church is offering sanctuary to an illegal immigrant. The woman was pulled over a few years ago and she's supposed to be deported tomorrow. Nine on your sides, Craig Smith is live at Southside Presbyterian Church with more on this. Well, guys, Southside Presbyterian is a well-known group of activists in the immigration issue. Just a couple of minutes ago, a woman by the name of Rosa Robles Loreto and a group of clergy and her family walked through those doors right there. Let's have a look at how it looked a little after 5.30 this afternoon. That group is going into the church, and the idea is that the church will become a sanctuary for the Loreto family and protect them from deportation. Now, once inside the church, a service began to basically bless the very concept of, san of sanctuary in this case. Rosa, Gerardo, Gerardo Jr., and Jose Emiliano, we gather here as a community of faith to welcome you into sanctuary. Gather in this place is your community and all of these religious leaders, and I would like them to introduce themselves so that you may know um, how many people you have supporting you. My name is Allison Carrington. I'm a pastor here at Southside Presbyterian Church, and my congregation stands with your family. Now, basically, we got an Im we got a memo from Immigration and Customs Enforcement earlier today that says they basically are instructed not to breach a place like a church or a school, what they describe as a sensitive site to take someone into custody unless that person is regarded as a very real threat to national or local security. And apparently that is not the case in this particular instance with the Loretto family. Now, there was a similar case where Southside Presbyterian sheltered a man uh, back in May. And in that case, about four weeks later, Immigration and Customs Enforcement did agree to allow him to stay on a temporary work permit while they considered whether or not he would be allowed to stay permanently. And that is what is hoped for for the Loretto family here. We'll have more on this coming up at KGON 9 News at 10. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side.